Hello, my name is Megan Whitney. I'm the owner of Core Bookkeeping. We help small businesses with bookkeeping, payroll, and then state and federal taxes. So today I wanted to walk you through the Minnesota, uh, the Minnesota Department of Revenue, so Minnesota eServices site. If you are a brand new business, you will need to create an account um, with the Department of Revenue. Um, if you are not a new business, then you will need to log into your account. And if you are a bookkeeper, you will need to request third party access into their account. Um, if you are requesting third party access, you need to create a username. So you create your Minnesota account and then, um, once you have your account set up, then within your account, you request third party access to the business. So you'll need their EIN, you'll need their um, Minnesota um, account number. And sometimes they have like a letter ID that starts with an L and then it's followed by several digits. So whatever way you are logging in, go ahead and log in. You'll notice and since you have to have an account, if you're a bookkeeper, you'll have two accounts. Even though I'm not based in Minnesota, I do have my account here. And then you'll have your list of clients that are based in Minnesota that you um, handle their sales tax or withholding tax. So go ahead, find the client that you are wanting to make the return for and select on their name. For this client, I do withholding tax and sales and use tax. Um, and right now we are going to work on filing the sales and use tax for equipment sold within Minnesota for quarter three. Now, the way his business is set up is that he needs to pay taxes, um, sales tax yearly for Minnesota because when they first started, their tax withholding was not high enough to have to pay quarterly or monthly. Since his business has grown, we need to switch to a quarterly um, filing. So pay attention to this because it will not send you an alert if you need to pay quarterly, but your account was set up annually. So. In 2021, it was set up for annually. We are three quarters of the way through 2022. At the end of the year, his account will switch to quarterly, but we needed to keep an eye on it throughout the year that, hey, we are owing more than $100 a month in sales tax, so we need to switch to quarterly payments. Sometimes there's an alert, so I know my alert here is that the return is due um, by August, October 31st for quarter three, which covers July, August, and September. So I don't need to file or I need to make the payment first that covers um, those dates. Hold on. Okay, I'm so sorry I misspoke. The alert is not for... Um, filing a return, like I just said, um, they won't alert us every quarter just because it has switched within the year of if he needs to pay annually or quarterly. The alert was for um, a notice for you to view the new local sales and use tax. Um, so we need to make an we need to make a payment. We are not going to file a return um, because the return is going to be due um, the close to the beginning of next year, which covers through December 31st, 2022. We just need to hop on in here and make a payment. Now, how do you know how much you need to pay? This is gonna be based on your county or your town of where the taxes are due in Minnesota. Um, that rate um, may depend. So if you are a landscaping service and you do some in one uh, county and you go perform services in another county and another county, we need to break all of those up by counties because each one will have a different percentage of sales and use tax due. So you need to have accurate good bookkeeping. We were able to pull this data from the software they use, which is Jobber, to know how much taxable income was made in each county for them. So they have two counties listed at two different tax rates. One was 7.125% and one is 6.88%. This is the total income, the total taxable income made in those counties for, um, and we have listed our non-taxable. So non-taxable is typically services. Taxable is typically products, but some services are going to be taxed. Not all services are non-taxable. And then they calculate the percentage. So we get this 
$1,056 based on 7.125% in that county. And then we have this $318 based on 6.88% uh, of this $4,600. And this will give us our total tax due. Um, again, really it should be due quarterly. We should have the alerts in the portal. We should have the email updates um, and that will start next year when we do need to pay quarterly or monthly. So the total tax he um, needs to pay is $1974.83. So we are going back into here and you can fill out um, the banking information of who your bank is. So I will be right back. Before I leave, um, will funding for this transaction be transmitted to or received from a financial agency located outside of the territorial jurisdiction of the United States? This is probably going to be pretty rare. Most of your clients or you yourself are probably based in Minnesota or their banking is based within the United States. So you're probably not dealing with foreign banks. So I'm going to say no, because we are located in the States. And then you will go ahead and fill out um, their accounting and their account number and their routing number um, to make this payment. And I will be right back once I fill that out. All right, so once you have all of the information, we just need to um, submit how much is actually due. Um, so what kind of payment is this? This is going to be our estimated payment um, because we do not have the return for it yet because we are set up on an annual basis. So this period is through December 31st of 2022. The payment amount is what we come up from our tax report of the taxable income, the taxable sales and use income. So this is going to be 197483. One, nine, seven, four, eight, three. Always a great idea to triple check. One, nine, seven, four, eight, three. One, nine, seven, four, eight, three. One, nine, seven, four, eight, three. I make mistakes too. Everybody makes mistakes. It's really easy. So a great way to double check is to um, go back. So there's our estimated payment. We go ahead and submit it. This will give you another confirmation. We will select OK. And then we'll give you the option if you want to print it out, um, email it to um, your clients. Uh, definitely keep it in your files um, as a receipt uh, just to make sure you are taking care of good bookkeeping. So this is how um, I would handle it. I would probably go to printer friendly and then save it as a PDF into their folder. So thank you so much and good luck and see you next time.